Today, we're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star running back Jordan Ba, who signed with the Florida Gators. I noticed him during the spring game, and we got to look at his profile. We got to look at his high school highlights. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page, and we're going to see what he's about. But before we do, you need to click that subscribe button. Florida Gator fans, I got a lot of coverage on you guys over the last few days. You may want to hit that button and take a look. We got some DJ Lagway. We got some other prospects like TJ Abrams and some other wide receivers we've covered through the 2024 recruiting cycle. On top of that, we're covering the entire 2024 recruiting class with as many players we can every single day this offseason. But here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. 24-7 Sports had him rated as an athlete in ATH because he can play multiple different positions, but he is listed and played as a running back for Florida. And also, he's listed at 214 pounds, but on their site, he's at 237 right now. That being said, team listings are sometimes off, especially when you get those running backs to the combine. They're a little bit off north or south. Just look at him as a thick running back. Look at him on the tape. You'll see the thickness. He's so thick. They got him as a three-star here in the rankings, four-star in the composite, listed as the 18th best athlete in the class in the composite, but 32 in the rankings. That being said, the composite likes him. That's something to note when we look at the highlights here. We're enrolled with Florida. We know that. We saw him take some handoffs, 18 offers, but Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia. The offers are a little bit light. But the market's saying, hey, the good schools like him. The Southern SEC schools like him. He's from Georgia. That being said, we're a Florida Gator. And the reason why they got him listed as an athlete, quarterback, wide receiver, cornerback, safety, can play everywhere. He can play everywhere. Florida's got him as a running back right now. More than likely, that's where he's going to stay from what we see here. But we're enrolled with Florida. We're locked in there. Four-star prospect. Going over to on three, four star with on three, four star with rivals. On three has him rated as the 23rd best running back. So he's a four star prospect, especially when you look at the offers Tennessee, Alabama, South Carolina. Those are four star offers. He's a four star prospect. We've covered much worse prospects that were not hitting as good with the offers. That being said, call him a four star. Six foot one, 215 is what they got him listed here. But again, Florida's got him listed at 237. That's where they got him profiled as. Again, SEC schools, top-tier Power 5 programs are looking at him, or we're looking at him. He's with Florida now. But we're going to take a look at the highlights. Let me know what you see in the comments below. 10 minutes and 21 seconds. Let's let it rip. Let's see what he's working with here. One thing I did note when I saw those clips from the spring game, I saw some pop in the step. Remember, he's a thicker running back, so he's going to run like a thicker running back. Do not compare him to some of these guys running in the 10 fours. Compare him at, to thick running backs so you can pound it between the tackles. And then whatever pop we see in the step, consider that extra on the cake, the cherry on top. We are seeing some pop. We are seeing some on the top end. Looking at his build, very sturdy. And this is from some time ago. He's thicker now. Good feet as well. Very light on his feet. That's what we like about our running backs too. Is that him? That's him back there. Catches it with his hands. That's good. Gets up field. Good vision. Good spin. Keeps his balance good. Good stiff arm. We're going to use it. No, we know we're going to get by him. We know our speed. We're in the slot. See them hands downfield. Think about that. Look at the separation we got there. It's not like we ran any tricky routes or anything. Went right by him. Good vision. Good timing on the cut. We got it. He's not at his top end there. Because he doesn't need to be. He knew he had it. Is that hole good? He's got good vision. He's like a Damian Pierce type of runner where like the vision and the and how quick he sees it makes him a lot quicker through the hole. 
He's very intuitive with that. And then combine that with the balance of footwork and lateral agility. Pass it out. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're on defense. Nice pick. Solid. He's got speed. He's got speed. I know I prefaced you prior on the tape, but this is my live reaction. I just noticed when I see the size, put two and two together. And I know we've covered a lot of fast wide receivers these last few days. We've covered a lot of wide receivers running 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And your eyes pull tricks on you. One thing I want to preface is, there, look at that. Look at that. Because you also want to preface, look at like guys like Kyron Williams, Audric Estime, those Notre Dame guys, Damon Pierce, Florida guys. Like it's not all about the top end, but we got some pop off the step. We got some burst. He's, he's got speed. He's not getting caught from behind either. We've had running backs get graded higher than him get caught from behind. And he's thick. Thick, strong running back, good balance, good vision. Good between the tackles. What's going on there? Good between the tackles. We're catching passes out of the backfield. Big running backs who catch balls out of the backfield who are receiving threats are big assets, especially for the NFL level because you can use them on all phases. You can use them as a grinder, but then if you want to wheel them out there, you can. That makes him a huge asset. That makes him a huge asset for the Florida Gators too, but... Long-term perspective, if he taps into his upside, if he keeps developing, that's what I mean by tapping into upside. His versatility, being able to catch balls out of backfield, wheeled out into the slot there, run routes like that, sudden movements, on top of being able to grind it between the tackles, that's a huge asset you do not get from many running backs because there's just not that many big running backs, thicker running backs, who excel. There's a lot of them that can catch passes out backfield, but excel at running routes, sudden routes. You can be out there with excellent vision between the tackles, like like he's showing. That there's a lot of upside with that. There's a lot of value with that. And we do not have many running backs like that in this class. He, honestly, when you're looking at thicker running backs and catch passes, he with how versatile he is, might be tops in those regards. Might be tops. I mean, I haven't measured it. Like, size versus pass catching ratio. Versus the vision between the tackles work. But from what we're seeing here, compared to other running backs in the class, if you're looking for a banger back with excellent vision, good balance, breaks tackles, but can also catch passes out of the backfield at a good clip, like run routes, put out in the slot, not just catch and swing passes, Probably one of the tops in the class. Guys over 220 pounds. Guys over 230, 225. Wherever he's really at. 237 is pretty thick. Pretty thick. That's a big increase. And it could be real. He's a big boy. He's a big running back. That's all I'm going to say. He's a big running back. And the thing about that is... He's given you more in the passing game than Damian Pierce did, Florida Gator fans. I'll say that much. I'll say that much. I mean, he's going to give you more in the passing game than a lot of running backs you'll see. But if you're comparing him to bigger running backs who excel between the tackles, he's giving you a lot in the passing game. That's a lot of upside there. That's a lot of upside. Very dynamic. I could allow him to climb the depth chart. Look at him. Good read, good vision. Cuts it in. Knows how to read momentum. Game winning touchdown. We're out in the slot it looks like. He's a very good running back prospect. 
I like the size. I like the power. I like the wiggle. He's got a lot of wiggle for his size. You're not seeing many running backs with this size at this magnitude with this much wiggle. Moving laterally well. We got him. Hold balance. Good vision. And on defense, switching it back and forth a lot. Tricks your eye sometimes. There's a lot of running backs who can catch the ball out of the backfield and catch balls downfield, but not many of them at his size. He's thick. And he's got like the frame to carry thickness. It's not bowling ball thick. What's going on there? That's kind of had a little glitch there. It's all right. Here's the next one. Downfield. Huge catch. On defense here. Good read. We snuff it out. The thing about him, too, say you catch another running back in the transfer portal, and now you're stacked at the running back position. You get another recruit in there, and you're like, man, we're healthy here. And say you got some injuries at linebacker, or the recruiting process didn't go your way two years down the road, or something like that, and you got him on the depth chart, you can move him around. So versatile. You can move him around. He'll be okay. He's got you that good size adjusted athleticism. We've seen that. Steel Chambers at Ohio State was a running back coming in. Converted to linebacker. Now he's going through the draft. Probably going to be a day three pick. That's just how it is. It doesn't happen too often. But that versatility, I mean, it, it's hard to get. It's hard to get. I mean, you'll catch it with these ATHs, these athletes that are rated as that. He's a running back, though. He's a running back. Florida identifies him as a running back right now. But things change. They got to make a change. He can do it. He can do it, and that's a plus. That's a big plus. That's a huge plus for him. All right, one more play here. Because I got my scouting report locked in. You have to know him for what he is here. Yep. So what we're seeing here is a powerful running back with good size, great vision, great patience, moves laterally very well. But he excels at catching the ball downfield, which is something you do not see from many big running backs, making him a tremendous asset, especially if he develops, taps into his top end, gets well with the team, climbs the depth chart. Later down the road, he could be a big get for the Gators. Could be a big-time asset. Due to that flexibility, because you can pound them between the tackles, short yardage, early down. You got to throw it, you wheel them out there, you can throw them in the slot even. That gives you versatility back there. He can definitely do that. Say long term, you catch some running backs in the portal or something, and now you got to move some players around. You got some versatility with him because he can play anywhere, really. He can play anywhere. You can put him at linebacker. You can move him anywhere because he has that innate skill set. We saw him on defense. He's good at defense. He has the ability to read the momentum around him, read the players around him. It's just ingrained with how he was developed. It's just natural skill set. You put him anywhere on the field, he's going to excel. Honestly, he's one of those players best suited for running back. Defensive-wise, looks like linebacker would be good, too. You can put him out in the slot a little bit. You have him run routes, which I love that for his versatility. I think you guys got yourselves a good player. I think you guys got a good running back here with some upside, a guy that you need to pay attention to throughout the years here because he's got some things in his skill set that could really help out the Gators. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.